Hello friends, I am Dr. C.A. Rubal Shah and we are discussing about analysis of financial statements. In the previous videos, we have given you short examples on comparative analysis and common size analysis. In today's video, we will try to learn trend analysis. As the name suggests, trend. When do we see trend? When we are trying to compare more than two years, we want to see what is the trend in the company, maybe for profits, maybe for financial positions. Let's take an example of balance sheet where share capital for the first year is 10,000, second year is 20,000, third year is 30,000. Now how to calculate the percentage of trend? There are two methods to calculate percentage of trend. First is fixed base method. Second, fluctuating base method. In this video, I am going to explain you the simplest method which is fixed base method. In case of fixed base method, we consider the first year as our base year. When we consider it as base year, base year percentage will always be taken as 100%. And then other years will be compared with that. Which means if 10,000 is 100%, how much is 20,000? Simple cross multiplication, 10,000 is 100%, so 20,000 is half percent. What am I going to do? Just cross multiply 20,000 multiplied by 100 divided by 10,000 which will give me 200%. Similarly, we will do year 3. Year 3 will again be compared because we are doing fixed base. Year 3 will be again compared with first year. 10,000 is 100%. So how much is 30,000? The simple formula that you have to remember is the amount of that particular year, 30,000, multiplied by 100, divided by the first year's amount, the base year's amount, 10,000, which gives me 300%. So we can clearly see here that this trend capital is having increasing trend of 100% to 200% to 300%. Similarly, we will find out trend for each and every item of balance sheet and each and, each and every item of income statement. Based on this trend, we can also have a graphical presentation made showing the trend line, whether it is increasing, decreasing graph, etc. And on those graphs, we can have the interpretations. I hope you are very clear with how to calculate trend analysis. Thank you.